welcome to Greenpeace World. We're going to be talking about Physalis today, or Physalis, whichever way you like to pronounce it. We're in the greenhouse which I use mostly in the spring and the autumn. It's where I mix my compost, it's where I do my potting up, seeding things, all that sort of thing. But there's a certain crop which is in here, which is called Physalis, which produces a wonderful, really tasty fruit. It's normally grown as an annual, but uh, we've been growing the same thing as a perennial by leaving the roots in over winter, and we've been doing that now for four or five years, and it seems to be perfectly happy doing it. The fruits are, this is what I picked this morning from this particular one, the fruits themselves are a nice little thing, lovely and pretty looking thing, called a Chinese lantern by some people. I open it up like that, and that is the fruit inside. It's a lovely colour, and a lot of chefs will value this at very, very high level, because they use it for really high quality dining. On the other hand, I might have 10 or 15 of them as part of my breakfast. Whereas if you're lucky with your high quality dining, you might get two put on the side of the plate by a chef. Like a lot of plants, at this time of the year, that is in August now, but in July and August, they decide that they're going to rule the world. And Fusalis is no ex exception to that. It grows like mad and has to be kept in check. It'll take over this complete greenhouse if I left it. So what I do just to make sure that it doesn't get completely out of hand is that I will cut it back after it's got two or three plants on, uh, two or three fruits on it. In a case like this, that one there, and you can possibly see where I've cut it off, just above that point where the leaf joint there and this bit of fruit developing here has uh, is coming from the stem. This one was coming right across over here so I've cut it off at that point there. It's already started after just three days to push that up. That can be pinched out because there's no point in leaving it because there's already got two or three fruits on this stem. Once it's got two or three on it, it pays to take the furthest ones off and let them, the lower ones, develop as best they can. This is the plant at uh, ground level and in this particular greenhouse, which is about 16 feet, that's just under five meters long, we've got six plants in a single row. Over the winter, all they are taking all the space they're taking up is just two or three inches, a few centimeters, uh, just along the back. And therefore, in the spring, I'm able to use the front part of the bed for all sorts of things to bring young plants on. But as soon as it gets to this level, obviously, it's taking over the world, and uh, we need to keep it under check. <laughs> 